Hey everyone, today we're going to be installing Ross Noetic onto an Ubuntu 2004 machine. It's a clean install, Ross is not on here right now. We'll go through all the steps top to bottom. The first thing you need to do, head over to this website. You can also just Google install Ross Noetic, but wiki.ross.org slash noetic slash installation will also get you to where you need to be. Go ahead and click your proper OS. I've got Ubuntu here and we're going to go through these instructions. Let's open up a clean terminal. And a lot of this is just going to be copy and pasting. All right, you can click this to highlight, Control C to copy. You'll notice that Control V doesn't work, but Control Shift V should work to copy things and paste them into your bash terminal. Great, and we'll just keep moving through here copying your keys over, make sure I get that S. So you have to install curl. And then I'm gonna grab that curl dash S. You might have to do some of these individually when there's multiple commands that are provided. Control shift V. Okay, we're good. At this point, just go ahead and do a sudo apt update. Make sure your package manager is up to date and do a sudo apt upgrade as well. I know it's not specified, but that's a great way to make sure that you have all these packages that are just updated to be installed. So then I'm gonna do the full install. If you have the space on your computer, go ahead and do that. If you've got a little bit of space and you're only gonna be using a couple tools like the RViz, go ahead and do the simple Ross Noetic desktop. And then if you're using a Pi or something like that that doesn't have a lot of power, go ahead and just do this bare bones one. But otherwise, if you have a desktop, you're gonna be happy to have all the tools available for you. There it's gonna be about 2,700 megabytes, so about 2.7 gigs. I'm gonna say yes. This could take a while to install based on your internet speed and space available, whatever you got going on your machine. So go ahead and just wait for this to finish downloading. All right, the download took about two minutes and then the whole unpacking process, all the setting up stuff you see above, that took about another five to 10 minutes. So we're good now to keep going. If we look here, it references how to add in general packages in ROS. This is going to be very important as you progress. You're going to find that you need a lot more capability specific to the exact application of what you're trying to do. Let's just use this as an example and try to add in this package here. And you'll see that Ross will simply add in that package and then you have it on your system to use later. It usually takes this general form sudo apt install ross noetic and then the package name keep that in mind as you go forward now if you ran into any issues during this install what i recommend is taking the first error that pops up so if you have a bunch of errors that list out go back to the top of them grab the actual error message and throw that into your search bar likely you're not the first person nor the last person to see this error go ahead and search that online i'm sure someone solved it before now let's keep moving through the setup. Here we have to source the script every time in bash. This is super inconvenient, which is why they recommend doing this. Now I'm a sucker for seeing everything that I do. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use gedit to open up our bash RC script. Don't edit anything in here that you don't need to. All right, but go ahead and open that up. Go to the very bottom and this is where if I ever have to make modifications, I'll do it down here. So I'm going to go ahead and we're just going to add source opt ross setup right here, this guy. Oh, I'm sorry, right here. Grab this, the setup.bash, assuming you're using a bash script. If you're using a zsh script, you're going to need that other one. But right here, I'm just going to plop it in, and there it is source 
opt ross noetic setup.bash and then just click save and then exit that script if you want to check that it's in there you can click the up arrow on your keyboard to get the last command open that back up scroll to the bottom and there at line 126 i have my source so now every new script that i open up it'll already be sourced to be able to use the ross capabilities all right Moving on to 1.6, looks like we just need a couple more packages here. So let's just do this command. And we'll install some Python stuff. Wait for that to finish installing. Great. Go ahead and copy in the Python 3 ross dep. That looks good. And let's go ahead and initialize this as well. Great. Ask us to please run ross dep update. No problem. There we go. And great. That should be it. The best way to check this, I'm going to open up a new terminal and try to run ROS core. If that runs successfully, then you're good to go. Further tutorials, definitely go ahead. If you haven't used ROS before, welcome to this awesome architecture. There's a lot to learn, but it is so useful and the open source world is so helpful. If you've already used ROS before, you know where to go from here. Hope this went well for you guys. Please let me know in the comments if you have any concerns or errors during the install process. Good luck out there and have fun. Cheers. All right, let's make a deal. If you subscribe to this channel, whatever you comment below, I promise I will read in my next subscriber special. Make it interesting.